Well, we just got another truck wash. First one in a while. But as you can see, I do not let, all I do is put soap and water on my paint. That's all I do. Then I get them to spray it off. What that does, of course, knocks all the grit off the truck. That way you don't scratch it. But a lot of people, when my truck is spotless, they say, how did you keep that black from having swirl marks in it? I said, I used the waxable bull snot. They said, well, how does that work? I'm going to show you. I'm going to just do your little line right here. You see how fuzzy this is? It's got the road film on it. You just spray across. And I can promise you, you will not get the swirl marks or the scratches in your paint. If you do the bull snot, like I show you how to do it, okay? You just let that sit right there. You take your microfiber rag or whatever rag you want to use. Make sure it ain't got, and you always want to tear the tag off of these because believe it or not, that tag right there will scratch your paint. So I just take the tag, rip it off. If I can get my finger in here. So, There we go. All right, so I let the waxable set on there. Let it get in there. All right, now this is what you do. You take your rag and you don't, you don't do swirls. You go one way. You go one way and it's bull snot. Okay. You go one way with it. Don't sit there and wash around, you know, like wax on and wax off. As you can see, this stuff breaks the dirt down. Yes, now this will take a little bit longer to clean your truck. But here's the catch. Do you want swirl marks in your paint? Or would you rather take just a little bit more time? Now, after I got that off, you just come back. Get the clean part of the rag now. You got to get the clean part of the rag. And come back and wipe off the residue that you left on when you did it the first time. And I'm going to show you the difference right here. I got a little bit of water on this rag, so. But that's all it is to it. Look at that. That's the difference. I did that less than what? A minute or two? That's the part I didn't do. That's the part I did do. And you see how quick it done it. And I can promise you, if you ever see this black Titan Aviation truck parked anywhere and it's clean, you will not see no swirl marks in it. Why? Because I used the bull snot waxable. I promise you, you will not have no swirl marks in your paint. Okay? Now, we have I sprayed the door a while ago, as you can tell. Okay? So, we're going to go, like I said, we're going to go one way with it. Just one way. I put it on here kind of thick, probably a little bit thicker than I should have, but this door was awful, awful dirty. Okay, so, and like I said, when you put it on and you take it off, and when this rag starts getting a little damp, a little wet, remember to clean the rest of it off with a clean towel. It's like everything else. If that towel's got a lot of stuff on it let me get a clean one right here that one has already got some this is a clean towel now you see why i swiped it while ago now watch how clear it look at that look how clear it comes Okay, we're just gonna do the top part here, but no swirl marks in the paint. Like I said, I do it with the bull snot visible. This right here. There's the door, and there's the half of the hood that I did less than a minute while ago. And you can see the part that I haven't done yet. So that's the difference. If you don't want swirl marks in your paint, use the visible.